welcome back to the cookery class this is miss dian still wish you all guys to have a bright and nice day and this is a very suitable day for me to show you a new menu and today i'm going to show you how to make spaghetti Next up, I'm going to show you what do I need to make spaghetti today. Here they are. As you can see, the very first ingredients that I need today is no other than spaghetti. But not least in importance, spaghetti is really nothing without sauce. And today I'm choosing to make spaghetti with bologna sauce. Bologna sauce is a meat-based sauce in Italian cuisine. So today I'd like to add some beef cornet to get some more meaty flavor to my sauce. And next up is really my favorite because I like to add onion to my spaghetti sauce. So today I'm going to add a whole big onion to my spaghetti. Both to boost the flavor and the aroma of my spaghetti, I always saute some garlic before I put on the sauce to the pan. As I always love to have cheese on my spaghetti, so today I'm also going to add some more of cheese on top of my spaghetti. Though I'm not doing any kind of fried cooking today, but still I'm needing a little bit of oil and today I'm choosing a kind of olive oil. Well, some other kinds of ingredients that I like to add to my spaghetti sauce is some kinds of dried herbs and today I'm using dried oregano and dried parsley and then after all today I'm also going to be needing some water and a little bit salt as usual after introducing you to some ingredients now I'm ready to let you know what tools that I need today to make spaghetti and first here I have a cutting board and then also a knife As I'm showing you in the earlier that I'm using cheese today, so of course I'll be needing a cheese grater. Another kind of new vocabulary in terms of cooking tools that I'm going to introduce you today is colander. And then also another one is tongs. Next up, still, here I'm going to also need a spatula. And of course, to make the spaghetti today, I also need a pan and a stove as well. And eventually, to serve the spaghetti that I will cook today, I'm also going to put the spaghetti on my favorite plate. That's all! After you prepared all the ingredients and tools, now we're ready to make it! So first, here I have a large and deep pan of water into boiling for the spaghetti. After a few minutes, right when the water is simmering, I add about a pinch of salt and also some olive oil 
to prevent the pasta from sticking to each other. And then once you see the water is boiling, put the spaghetti in, let it cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the other ingredients for the sauce like crushing some garlic finely and also slicing some onion or you can also chop it up. And one thing for sure, here I'm also mashing up the cornet beef before I cook it together with the sauce. Just in time, I think my pasta is already well cooked, so now I'm going to take out the pasta from the pan and assemble it with the sauce later. Now I'm ready to start making the sauce. So here I've got a pan heating on a medium heat and I'm adding some olive oil into the pan and then saute some crushed garlic and then also the onion that I sliced before. Cook them for about 5 minutes to release the flavor. We're not looking to brown the onion, we just want to soften them. So now, once I'm getting in the right time, then I add some cornet beef and then cook for a further minute. Besides getting the aroma from the garlic and onions, some dried oregano will surely complement them well. And then after all, I'm putting in the sauce to the pan and cook them together Here I'm letting the sauce to simmer for less than a minute and then add in the spaghetti and toss everything together until the sauce cover the pasta well through. Once it's all done cooking, serve your pasta to your favorite plate. And then finally, for the last touch, I sprinkle some dried parsley and grate some cheese on top of the spaghetti.
so excited for you to try. And that's all. See you guys with some more deliciousness. Bye! So, how is it? Doesn't it? <laughs> Good work! <laughs> I'm so excited for you to try. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to try. See you with. See you with. See you with Miss Tianti with some more delicious. <laughs> <laughs>